Normally I tell you what I'm going to make and then I just go ahead and show you when it's all prepared. But since this is a quick one and I want to see how well you guys like when I'm actually cooking, we're going to cook it together. So we have our second meal and today I am shooting in the daytime. It's actually um, like 10 in the morning and I'm actually going into work a little late today. So I wanted to make it before I went into work. Glass noodles, something, something like that. And here's a picture. You know what, I forgot to cut it. So here's the meal. Let's see how all the vegetables help. So we have our mints. and some sauces and put it in the fridge for a while now maybe like two days so I really got to cook it today but then we have our chicken so now I'm going to actually go ahead and cook so here they say I need a peeler a colander large bowl pot and a frying pan so that's not too much and the peeler is optional so if you don't have it that's fine I have all of the things that they said I need I have my peeler I have my little pot, um, I have a frying pan, and they never say that you need a cutting board and any ingredients because they assume that you know that you're going to need a cutting board. So here's a cutting board, I have the colander and the bowl, so I'm going to fill up this pot of water here, not too high. And I really think it's important to have a gas stove, guys. I don't really love the electric stove, so that's just me. I'm going to prep the chicken. So it always says to pat the chicken dry, coat them with hoisin sauce, and season with salt and pepper and put to the side. And my aunt normally rinses. She always told me to rinse my chicken. I don't know. Like right. so. so salt and pepper. I feel like I need a little bit of a bigger pot, so I'm going to add water to it. So we'll wait for that to boil. In the meanwhile, let's, um, it says to go ahead and fry the chicken, but I'm just going to go ahead and prepare the salad because um, I think it's good to let the chicken marinate a little bit. So I'm kind of going a little bit, so you can go a little bit off of like your own thing, which is really cool with focus. So now, this is a Hampton Forge knife. It cuts really, really well. It's a um, San, Santuko, Santuku, which is actually Japanese. Um, it's considered a chef's knife. And normally when I first started cooking, I thought, oh, I gotta get this really expensive knife so that it will make my life easier when I'm cooking. And I bought this knife, which cost me like $100 or something, which is a Zwillian J.A. Hankel's. Um, I rarely use it and I actually use this one so much more and I got this for like $15 at Walmart. So. I just want everybody else out there to know who's starting their cooking journey that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. It took me a while to realize that. I'm gonna just cut them into quarters. And then we're just gonna chop it finely, then thinly slice it. Then the next one, we mint the carrot. So we just strip all the mint leaves here. Give it a quick rinse. Just tear them off. All done here. And I kind of like to make sure it all gets in there before I 
leave it away. I don't like to walk away so it's all in there. This we'll start the timer for nine minutes. We'll tie base and dressing. So oil. And I'm just gonna wait for that to heat up. You guys always see the finished product, but today you're gonna see how I put it all together. So it says to serve some of this on the side. So we're just gonna put a little bit here on this side of each plate. Things should be hot enough. I flipped water to see if it's get the crackle. And I'm not like a professional, so I can't give you tips on like, oh, make sure that you lay the chicken a certain way with your spatula, with your, your pair of thongs or something. The only thing I could say is always lay something away from you like that. Okay, so we'll let that cook for about four minutes. So when this timer goes off, um, it'll be time to flip it around. And that time the noodles will be ready to go. So. Four minutes, guys. I don't wash it very well. If I could have washed it or turned it a little earlier or lower so that would have prevented some of the the char the trying with things here. But the chicken's still not cut, so and our noodles are all done. I'm going to wait for it to drain a little bit. Oop. Doesn't that look so good, guys? That looks really good, right? So on the salt, I'm going to go a little light because that Thai basil dressing may have had like salt in it. Okay. Now we're going to, actually I'm going to have my cameraman taste it since he's not eating this dish. Let's get some of the cucumber. So I am packing this for lunch. So here's a small plate. We're just going to taste it to see if it needs more salt and pepper. It was really hard for me to get this from the bowl because it was so difficult and the noodles were so long. It tastes really fresh. I'm gonna give the rest of this to my cameraman. I think that it might need just a smidgen of salt. But they're all really good. So to keep since it's going for like a lunch and it's not really gonna be eaten right now I'm gonna kind of keep everything a little bit separate that looks pretty good doesn't it it's a little charred but it's here you just give it like a really cute cut so chop it up All right, and that took me actually 25 minutes, so not that bad. Just a little piece for my cameraman. And that's it. Here's the final product of my glass noodles with chicken and then the hoisin sauce here. So it took me about 25 minutes at 15.25 and it could have been longer because I was actually taping 
while I was cooking. So it might have actually taken like 20 or 15 minutes, but this is how it's supposed to look. Uh, I felt like the chicken strips weren't so like nice and large like they have in the picture. But outside of that, everything else was pretty spot on. The only thing is the glass noodles was really, really long. And I actually really love long noodles, but this is like <laughs> really long. All right, let's go ahead and try it. It's so good. It's like so flavorful. It has this really strong... I would say Asian flavor. I don't know, I can't pinpoint the exact flavor, but the mint is really good. It brightens it a little bit. And the cucumber makes it like a little crunchy and makes it taste light. So the whole noodle side is really light and then the hoisin is really heavy. All right, I'm not even going to eat, I'm going to work. So I gotta go. I will see you guys later because <laughs> Jesse is doing it. Doing it. And doing it for a culture. All right, I'll see you guys very soon.